Who in the room owns a tablet, please? Who in the room owns more than one tablet in their household? Pretty cool. So I love this slide. First of all, this is 1969 they made this movie. And, and, and can you take a look at what the, can you see what they're playing with? Does that look like an, a tablet to anybody else? Uh, Frank and Dave are sitting there on their way to Jupiter looking at tablets. Pretty cool. And so, the, obviously, you know, if you are on a multi-trillion dollar spacecraft exploring the outer reaches of the solar system, you need two tablets per spaceship, right? I don't know. I always want to have a backup one. I love this ad. This is from 1951. The two-car garage. Automobile was invented in roughly 1880, 1890. Took about, whoops, took about 70 years before the average American home, sorry, not the average, before 5% of American households had two cars. I'm not that old. 1971, 72. I remember, I think there's some people in this room who are old enough. Anybody remember when your friends had party lines? That wasn't even that, that was the 70s, that was 40 years ago. People didn't even have one phone per home. They had to share a line between multiple homes. TVs took about 40 years after introduction before 5% of households had two TVs. Radio was longer. Uh, some things were faster. Cell phones, it took about 25 years after introduction before people had two phones per, per household. PCs, a little less, about 18 years. Our estimate is that this year, 5% of tablets, of the roughly 100 million tablets that sell, 5% will be to people who already have them. That's, that's 5 million tablets. That's uh, almost $3 billion. Why am I telling you this story? As you know, my name's Duncan Stewart. I'm very proud of my Scottish ancestry. Uh, my family came to Ontario, uh, a place called Lanark, uh, south, of, uh, south of Ottawa, uh, in, I think, the 1830s. Probably had a three-room house. During dinner, they had a kerosene lamp in the kitchen, and they ate by the light of the kerosene lamp. When dinner was over, they would pick up the kerosene lamp and bring it into the living room where they would knit and read the Bible. Sorry about the Bible thing. I come from a very, very long line of, of, of Presbyterian preachers, but probably the Bible. When they went upstairs to bed, they would bring the kerosene lamp with them. They had one lamp in the house. It went from room to room as a light source. These days, I walk in, and there's a light switch, and I turn it on, and the lights come up. What we're seeing with the multi-tablet household occurring in only three years after introduction is what we call scatter cushion computing. We are moving from a world where we would have one computer per house to one per person to one per room to multiple per room. This is the Internet of Things, machine-to-machine -machine communication, the proliferation of computing devices so that it is essentially like a light bulb in the ceiling. You walk into a room and the computers are there and you boot them up and they turn on and they do all the things that we expect from computers. That pervasiveness of, of computing, we are just at the beginning of that process and it will be almost certainly a trend over the next decade of predictions. Mm -hmm.